The most wonderful time of the year can be triggering for the nearly 29 million Americans who will struggle with an eating disorder within their lifetime. The National Eating Disorders Association reporting a spike in calls to their helpline during the holiday season. You're at a ton of events that revolve around food. And if you have an eating disorder, even issues around food or your weight, then it's likely to be a troubling, difficult, stressful time for you. And studies suggest social media can potentially be harmful, especially for teens. There's some really interesting studies that show that for teens in particular, the more they are on social media, the higher the rates of eating disorders. And with adults, the more social media time they spend, actually the higher rates of depression, anxiety, and all sorts of mental health issues. On TikTok, dietitian Kylie Sakaida making it her mission to make a positive impact and break stigmas for her more than 2 million followers. With my history of having an eating disorder myself, I understand that experience. I always want to make sure that I'm presenting information in a very, again, positive way that isn't going to be harmful to people. My main goal is to make health and nutrition information accessible on TikTok and to help people by posting easy recipes, evidence-based nutrition tips, as well as my own personal health journey. With more than a billion users, TikTok offering ways to avoid potential triggers. We're really committed to making sure that folks have this safe, comfortable environment to express their own creativity. You can select a specific search term that might not be comfortable for you and block that term. If you see a video that that you really just don't feel comfortable with, you can just long press on that video and say, not interested. The social media giant teaming up with the National Eating Disorders Association. What we know is that there are specific ways that you can engage with folks, adults and teens who may need help. And one of those ways is to just give information. And when it comes to holiday stressors that aren't online, make sure that you have an action plan. Make sure that you have support lined up. Be aware of what your triggers are and have your support system on call ready to get texts from you or calls if you get into trouble.